Hello guys, um, it's the 4th of April 2021, um, I've uh, been at this for about a year now, a um, little bit less over winter because of the weather, um, it's coming on alright, uh, as you've seen in the past videos, uh, engine's running now, um, done a few modifications to it, got a few more to do but they're not uh, necessarily right for the moment. Um, the underside of the car is pretty much there. Um, I've got one custom drive shaft to make uh, for the left hand side because this is an S1430 spline output shaft LSD. Uh, found out um, after I'd done the conversion. Uh, so I've got to use an output shaft both sides, which that's fine. Um, but anyway, the underside's all done, everything's polybrushed. Uh, I've got polybrushes throughout the whole car. Um, the brakes are rebuilt. Uh, uh, the And obviously the, the seals are all done. Uh, rear pockets, hinge mounts, all that welding basically is done. Um, I'm basically preparing now for the respray. Um, I'm not going to do that myself, obviously. It's just not going to be good if I do it in here. Uh, it's not my uh, forte either. I've uh, done some pretty bad resprays in the past and I'm not going to do it again. Um, <laughs> right, so yeah, it's, um, I've just taken the rear bumper off of this yesterday. After I was doing some work on the rear dampers, I saw some light coming through from the back behind the bumper, um, which was here. Um, so, yeah, I took the bumper off and done the inner and outer to here. So, that's nice and solid now, uh, which is good. So, yeah, I'm just going to start getting rid of any surface rust here and prepping it. Um, and then I can, I've taken the lights out so that I can work on the filler here. Like blending this all nice, making this a bit more normal, and a nice curve all on the edge here. Some of them are pretty much there, but um, got, I couldn't really do those bits with the lights all in. So I'm going to get that done, get this cleaned up, um, blend here and here, um, and get it to a sort of standard, which is going to take a little bit of the work off from the body shop and hopefully reduce the price which I'm going to have to pay um, obviously I know it's going to be expensive still but um, it's very time consuming getting rid of rust and prep and taking parts off obviously I send it down there sort of in this sort of form with the, the bumpers off um, and they can uh, get the paint done and then I'll trailer it back home and put all the lights in and whatnot. Uh, so that's where we're at there um, yeah it's coming along what else have I done with body work you've probably seen on my Instagram um, I've blanked off the wing mirrors um, both sides because uh, I'm going to have little race tick mirrors just tiny little ones which come out um, a lot lighter than the big bricks you get as stock. Um, I need to find a R33 Skyline which is being broken for parts. Hopefully, I've messaged a few. Most I've got had a few replies back, but uh, nothing um, great yet. And these, you can't get these from the Sylvia anymore. But a Skyline one fits if you put the left on the right, the right on the left, um, and cut. And, and, and notch it or cut a bit out there because mine are totally rotten those strips these were all going rotten blooming in mid 2000s friends of mine had Sylvia's in 2006 those was all going rotten back then so it's no real surprise um, if yours aren't going rotten you're lucky uh, yeah got the other one done there Rock. Uh, yeah, coming along. Just, just bodywork prep now. 
Um, drive shaft is no big deal. Um, so while I'm waiting for that to be made, I'm just going to start working on this. I'm looking forward to it um, going back down on the ground, seeing how it sits with all the poly bush on the subframes, which I'm uh, those Z31 poly bushes, but um, I took a bit. Or would I take 5mm or something like that off of the top and bottom cups um, to get them to fit better and to fit in more of a stock position. Um, basically it just meant that the subframe sits at the same point against the bottom, underside of the car than, um, than they do with the standard bushes so you're not going to raise the rear seal height here. I don't know if we're going to be able to see, but yeah. Um, what else have we got? I've got AN braided lines now, which run around the cup. They're one piece and through, and then to a converter all the way to there. I've got another AN line which that's not pinned down because I'm waiting on the converter um, but that side just goes up to here oh, where, is it, where is it that side just goes up to that point so it works all right so no flexies now on the back just one piece it normally it goes flexi solid flexi so it's just one piece braid all the way along. I've got um what we got bodywork wise I've got the fiberglass SE spoiler. Um which needs some work. Weather's picked up, so I can actually. I'm going to do that myself. Uh, it's going to be on a uh, like um, was it VHT wrinkle black paint, same as what I've done on the strut tops. Do the whole spoiler in it on a really hot day, so it wrinkles nice. Maybe even a warm up spoiler with a hair dryer before doing the paint, um, and get like a a finish which looks similar to. Foam, like PU foam, like the original. Um, I'm going to do that. I'm quite looking forward to that. But before I do that, this is where the old third brake light goes. I'm going to cut up here and along and down, fold that up in, bond it from the inside, and fill it. So this will uh, basically be like this all the way along. Um, and uh, get rid of that bit. Um, anything else? I'm trying to think. Um, no, that's about it. Uh, I've got a couple of other little secrets on the way, but we'll find that out in um, find that out in future videos. Um, got something really cool being made up for this, um, but it's going to take a little while. But if I can get this back end done, because this is sort of the main bit of bodywork which needs doing then uh, that's great uh, side skirts are all on now I rivnutted nutted the uh, underside of the seals and they're held in um, a pinned underneath with M6 screws now stainless steel ones so those seals are nice and easy to fit and unfit uh, so we're not going to have any body filler or bonding agent on them side skirts uh, it's just uh, on and off the same as this will be. Got roof nut there. Um, before this is uh, all sprayed up, I've got a impole badge, which is going to be moulded into the back of the spoiler before it all gets. Right then, thanks for watching. Hopefully that wasn't too boring for you. Probably waffled on a little bit too long there, but I haven't um, given any proper updates. And future plans on this for a little while um, it's more being Instagram over winter because of the bad weather 
I've just been cracking on and it's just been horrible and the lighting's been shit and whatnot. But yeah, um, it's 500 break S12 on Instagram if you don't follow it. Loads of pictures and that sort of stuff on there. Um, hope your projects are all going good and uh, speak to you soon.